All right, so we just got back, um, getting everything put up, and we're gonna cook some of these ducks now. We're gonna do um, Hawaiian Philly cheese steaks. We got some of the ducks this morning. We got one from Teal, and uh, we'll see if we can't get them marinated up. All right, so we got about a pound and a half of duck here, and uh, we're about to marinate them up. What I like to do is Dale's and Oyster So the Oyster that's going to take the gaminess out of it. It's really personal preference on how much you want to do. But I like to do, I mean, about a third of a bottle. I mean, just to really get that gaminess out of there. So that should be about good right there. And then the Dale's has salt in it already, so that's going to add flavoring. It's really, once again, personal preference on how much you want to do. You can do... It's never really going to get too salty, but um, I like to do, once again, probably a third of the bottle just to get them all covered. And then uh, we'll stir these up and then get that marinade real, real mixed around, and then we'll let them sit for 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll throw them on the grill. So we got another batch of marinade we're going to make. We're going to kind of compare how these two marinades go on these Philly cheesesteaks. So this is one I kind of came up with, slash got some inspiration from online. Uh, so kind of going off of what Drew said earlier, that Worcestershire kind of takes out that gamey taste, but then we add a little bit of ranch, some Dijon mustard, and then some garlic to kind of get, bring some more flavors into this meat when we marinate it up. So uh, kind of what Drew said, it's all based on feel. I like to put a heavy helping of Worcestershire in there, like he said, kind of brings out that gamey taste if you don't like that. But then the rest of the seasonings are really just kind of based on your feel, kind of what you're feeling that day, you want to add a lot of ranch, a little bit of ranch. It's all based on what you feel. So we'll get this put in the fridge. And like Drew said, with his marinade, leave it in there for an hour, 45 minutes. Then it'll be ready to go on the grill. And now we wait for the meal to begin. So it's been about an hour, our meat's been uh, marinating, so we're gonna just start preparing it to put it on the grill. Um, we usually, I try and cut it usually fairly thin. There's a couple reasons on a filler cheesesteak they do it for some reason. You can kind of see how thinly we got the meat cut here. And like I said, it's just for a couple reasons. Um, one, I just like to do it for the pellets, reduce how many people are gonna bust their tooth on a pellet, but also just for cooking speed can cook it real quick, real fast, so it makes cooking and prep a lot easier for you. Grill should be pretty hot now. It's been out there about 20 minutes getting hot. Uh, I'm gonna do mine whole. I'm not gonna cut mine up like he did, but um, put about two minutes, two and a half minutes on each side. That grill's pretty hot, so it shouldn't be long. Let's go put them on there, okay. So I got, I got my Mr. Buddy grill here, $25 at Lowe's, get it done. And then we're just gonna take them, go across with them, and then uh, you can really do as many as you want. That should be good for now. And then we'll let them sit for about two minutes. And then we'll come out here and flip them. I was ready to quit. So we got my batch of marinated bird ready. Um, got the pan hot, heated up. So these will be real quick once we put them on. So just drop them in. Leave them on for a couple minutes on that side. Flip them around and then They'll be ready to take off and eat on, so stay tuned. I really like doing everything on the grill. I think the charcoal flavor adds just something that you don't really get like over like over, over a stove. Um, but we're gonna put them on the cheesesteaks with, I mean, with everything else. It's just gonna, it's just gonna add that little bit of like smoke taste almost. But uh, those will be fine, let those sit, and then we'll take them off. So our duck's about done. Um, we're just gonna scoop it onto a tray here. We'll pick towel, soak up some of that grease and all that's down there. Don't want to lose any of that good stuff. Make sure we got it all. And it's going to be ready to put on our buns for those Philly cheesesteaks. All right, we're going to take these off here. Um, go inside and check them, but they should be more than done. They got grill marks on both sides. So. That right there is what you want. Still smoking. So we have some of the Hawaiian rolls that we're going to use as our buns for the Philly cheesesteaks. And what I like to do is before I, uh, you know, put the meat on, I like to toast them real quick with some garlic butter. So I'll spread that all over the buns here. Just get it good lathered up. And then we'll put it on the in the stove there with the broil on, 
get it toasted real quick and then we're also put the cheese on right after we pull that out um, so it adds a little extra garlic and buttery flavoring to the cheese steaks that'll probably be in there for two three minutes tops um, make sure it doesn't get burned on broil so that's the big thing then we'll take it out and put our cheese on there here's what your bun should kind of look like coming out get crispy on the middle might be a little soft in the center but hey a little bit of butter left over for us to eat is good with us so after we do that want to get that cheese mounted on there so we'll do this just the same process but we'll throw the cheese on and then put it right back in the oven. All right, as he's throwing those back in there, we got some. Uh, we got the rest of the ducks off of those. I'm gonna put them in tinfoil just to keep them hot on the grill, and then we're gonna throw the uh, the bell peppers and the onions on the grill, and then those are going to the cheese stick. Kind of ball those up, get them like that, and then we'll put them in the corner, and then we'll take. These two out there. All right. So we got our cheese melted on there. And then we're just going to wait for the final pieces of those peppers and onions and the meat. And you can even throw that back in there, add another layer, and then throw it all together. And then the final product will be ready to be eaten. Just kind of cut them up into like little bitty pieces, kind of, so we can get them on that bread. And then also, what I wanted to mention was the fact that, you know, poppers are the most famous thing you can cook with duck. These are also really good to do with those cream cheese wrapped in bacon. It's, the Dale's and Oyster you can really do, you can do, there's a lot of variables you can do with it. You can do a lot of things with it. But we're about to throw them on the, on the uh, pepper jack rolls and we'll see how it is. We're about to throw them on, on these sides right here. So just kind of keep them on. This is going to be the, the bottom, that's going to be the top. And then we'll transfer all that over. All right, so yeah, it's not, it's not hard to make it all. I mean, I mean, it took us what 30 45 minutes to do the whole thing and then uh, yeah, get your ingredients I mean you don't have to do onions and bell peppers but we're going to so like I said get finished putting all the meat on there Some more pieces all right and you get your, your onions just kind of drizzle those on there however you like Stuff like that you got your peppers And then that should be about it. We'll uh, put them tops on there and then we'll get a final final result. All right, so we're about to throw these back in the oven and then just kind of warm everything back up. And then uh, we'll pull them out in just a second. Should have a final product. Bell peppers, duck in the middle, pepper jack, honey roll bun. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try a Drew's duck and a Hunter's duck, and we're gonna see which is better. The two different marinades, and just one sweeter than it. A pick of the mustard and a little bit of ranch on there. Very good. Both are delicious, but I'm gonna go with the sweeter one. <laughs> she said it right. <laughs> Alright, so I think we got a fish for everybody to eat up here. Um I appreciate y'all following along and uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe of course, and we'll see y'all on the next one.